Welcome back to Kinotopia Games everyone! Today we're gonna continue playing the Weird Sisters event. So let's get started and go to talk with the Weird Sisters. You could have told me that destroying the artifact room was all about giving peace attention. I sincerely apologize, but telling you in advance would have lessened the surprise and therefore quill the house. The more chaotic the situation, the more likely peace is to arrive. And thanks to you, he is going to clear the way for our show. You are the coolest Ariadna. Is everything ready, Orsina Trustin? Absolutely, we're about to deliver a bit of non-holiday chew. What are you talking about? We have something of tradition before playing a show, a bit of cheerful bonding to improve our rocking camaraderie. It was Q's idea. <sighs> I still don't understand. We'll be happy to explain. Do you understand the pre-show ritual now, Ariadna Starchild? I think so. You guys are cheering charm on each other and happily hang out? It's pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know. No British Ariadna Starchild. You can still play show even if you don't want to be affected by the cheering charm. I may even respect you more for choosing to remain marred in the darkness of our beautiful black worldview. But you'll miss all of the fun. Do you want to cause a cheering charm on you? Of course! I want to celebrate playing a show with you guys, besides, what's the harm in being happier? I tend to you parades with happiness as an unfortunate disorder, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Cheers to Ariadna Starchild and the Weird Sisters! Do you feel anything? I'm suddenly feeling extremely optimistic, so the spell must be taking effect. Look at Kiri. Hmm. I will admit, it was my dormant heart to see that melancholy man crack a smile. Hmm. You're looking quite smiley yourself, Ariana's star child. Is there something cheerful you'd like to share? I shouldn't say. You're one of us now. Feel free to share your happiest little secrets. Sharing is so cool. I I think I might fancy one of my friends. Juicy. Scandalous. Mm. Who do you fancy, Ariadna? Well, not Penny, not Bill. Uh, I guess I don't have my option here. Okay, then we'll see. I can see. I I can see. Because you don't want to name the person you're interested in, or because you aren't interested in anyone, or because you're interested in everyone. Like I said, I can see. Fair enough, but you should consider telling them how you feel. Unless you aren't interested in anyone. Who is cool too. Maybe even better. Mm. 
You should probably leave before we disgust you with our grown godness, Ariadne Starchild. I'll send you an uncharacteristically glowing message when it's time to set the stage for our performance. We completed part 2. It's time to make the final preparations for your premiere performance with the Weird Sisters. And we go to the artifact room for the third time already. I apologize for my disturbingly pleasant behavior earlier. Don't be, it was fun. Just don't tell anyone that I might fancy one of my friends. Your romantic secrets are safe with me, Ariadne Starchild. I'm more concerned with making sure our first show is amazing, spectacular, breathtakingly depressing success. Because we'll distract the teachers, but we need to temporarily rid ourselves of village. Didn't you and Penny Hewitt once brew a sleeping draw to render Mrs. Norris dormant? Who told you that? Rowan Hannah, we share an appreciation for postmodern existentialist fiction. How is it that you know all of my friends, but no one ever told me? The weird sisters walk in weird ways, Ariadne Starchild. Can you brew a sleeping jaw strong enough to incapacitate Filch? Mrs. Norris was one thing, but I didn't know about using it on adult. It's your decision, but it's harmless, and we both know Filch would do far worse to you. That's true, but I'm not sure I can brew it without Penny here to guide me. I brought you a cauldron and the necessary ingredients, just in case. Give it a go, our oblivious public awaits. Done, Ariadne Starchild. I'll have Orson and Kirla give the sleeping jaw to Filch. In the meantime, we need to let everyone know about our own concert. Who can help you spread the word? Well, of course, not in Smelda or on Ben. I guess Penny. I'll ask Penny to help. She knows everyone. Exactly. Good choice, Ariadne Starchild. Let me know what transpires. I'll be working out ways to add proper pyrotechnics to our show. So let's work with Penny now. I witnessed a great number of excellent concerts in the royal court of King Henry VII. Wait until you see my new drum, kid. There's rumors of concert happening. I may have to dust off my dancing shoes. I can't believe you are playing a show with the Weird Sisters. You're making the most of your time at Hogwarts. Thanks, Penny. I'm starting to get nervous about our first concert. Oh. You'll be amazing. How has been hanging out with the band? What do you talk about? Uh, um, nothing, really, but I do want to ask you for a favor. I was hoping you say that. Huh? How can I help? I need someone to help make flyers for the concert and hand them out to our classmates. I'm happy to help, Ariadne. I always know you are the star of Hogwarts, now everyone will get to see for themselves.
Thanks for your help making the flyers and passing them out, Penny. <laughs> My pleasure, Ariadna, and good luck at your concert. If you start to feel nervous, just remember that all of your friends are cheering you on. Okay, let's have a look. So we still have one more task here and then last part. Okay. Did you have any luck spreading the war about our concert, Ariadna Starchild? Yeah, Penny is going to help make flowers and pass them out to everyone. Excellent. The good news is that Orson and Curly got fished and drink your sleeping draw. It was cool. The bad news is that he's sleeping in his office alongside all of the fireworks I wanted to use for our pyrotechnics. It was an unfortunate oversight. Didn't you brew a fire breathing potion to save Hagrid's dog from Devil's Nail? Who told you about that? Hagrid, everyone knows that man can keep a secret. Technically, Snape brew it. I just watched and drank it afterward. Do you think you can brew it yourself? We need that spectacle to take our concert to the next level. I can try. There is no try, only brew. Did it work? I suppose there is only one way to find out. This is officially going to be the best concert in the history of Hogwarts, if not the entire wizarding world. Even Kiro is impressed. <sighs> we are finally ready for our first concert. I suppose we should show Arya and Starchat how to play an instrument. And we completed part 3. So that was all for today guys. And I will show you the last part of this event in the next video. Bye bye.